Hello, this is John Canalopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece, um, Laser Vision uh, Ambulatory Surgery Center, Clinical Professor of Ophthalmology at NYU Medical School in New York City, New York. Uh, really a pleasure to talk about a very interesting subject. We're all familiar with recurrent epithelial erosion. We can see this lady who wakes up screaming in the middle of the night from her right eye, having significant pain. We can see the Kogan cyst right in the center of the pupil along with uh, uh, ABM dystrophy signs. She had a tree branch injury several years ago. You can see how the epithelial irregularity affects the uh, fundus imaging in her uh, right eye image on the left of this picture. And here, most interesting, the epithelial maps. The caveat here is that this lady already had PTK about eight months ago. She was told a very broad uh, in diameter PTK modern laser here in Athens and she, in a different center, she clearly has uh, epithelial hyped up. We can see here on the cross-section with the optic view Avanti anterior segment uh, OCT that there is significant uh, reduplication of the basement, basement membrane, how this affects placido topography, significant irregularity, her vision best corrected is at 20, 40 minus, she's slightly hyperopic on the sign fluke imaging, less noise from the uh, epithelial irregularity, but she has recurrent erosion symptoms um, and uh, they need to be treated. Our suspicion here and I'm uh, putting in uh, a pointer for what we're going to see in the video later is that something went wrong with the PTK. It's very unusual in my experience, especially if the abrasion is, is centrally. If this was a peripheral abrasion, we're seeing a lot of the uh, uh, diagnostics that we obtain, especially we're going to do laser axial length measurements and pupillometry. Uh, as I mentioned, she's slightly hyperopic, but we always have to take into consideration that her refraction may be affected by the epithelial irregularity and also this epithelial irregularity is going to be worse in the morning um, as is with ABM dystrophy rather than the evening. And these are the numbers that we're choosing on this lady to treat. Uh, we also have, uh, we saw earlier, Inovise ray tracing numbers. And we're in the OR now under topical anesthesia. We're going to use the um, Orca EBK. And here's the surprise. I'm removing the epithelium and we can see the shiny, um, by no doubt, clinical sign that Bowman's is still there. So the shining of our uh, EX500 exomer laser on the uh, cornea surface is a clear sign that Bowman's membrane was not uh, removed at all. It was not even teased by the laser. Uh, and we can see the marks of that original ablation. Uh, it's around the eight millimeter. We can see it here, concentric to the pupil. Um, uh, with my ORCA device, I'm trying to remove uh, peripheral epithelium because I am uh, keying in, as we will see, a 7 millimeter hyperopic correction for her hyperopia, which will laser all the way out to almost 10, 10 and a half millimeters. So we're drying the surface, it's clear the Bowman's membrane centrally is still there. Thus, um, the BDK did not create a good enough scaffold for epithelial to grow over stroma and uh, seize the symptoms of this recurrent epithelial erosion. That uh, textbook is worse. Uh, during uh, sleep, uh, pa patients usually wake up during the night or experience, as soon as they open their eyes in the morning, uh, sharp pain uh, with epithelium being abraded by the eyelid. I am uh, using a crescent blade here to assure total epithelial removal. Uh, I'm dulling a little bit the Bowman's membrane uh, uh, reflex. This is the hyperopic treatment that I mentioned before. She refracted to plus one and a half. I'm only going to treat plus one because my PTK is going to induce a little bit of myopia. Um, and uh, this was the hyperopic correction uh, with a little bit of astigmatism. We can see the, still see that Bowman's is still shiny in the center of the cornea. So thus, uh, instead of doing a usual PTK, Bowman's is around uh, 10 microns in thickness. We're going to go to 25 microns, as you can see here. And I think I understand what happened. What happened probably is that her PTK was transepithelial and the colleagues did not take into consideration the fact that the epithelium was heaped up. Uh, it was probably um, uh, 60, 70 microns and they probably treated her in the morning, which was confirmed by the patient as we're doing the laser. She said, yes, my treatment was very early in the morning. It was 9 a.m. in a laser center here in Athens. We can clearly see here that uh, our PTK has uh, revealed anterior stroma. I'm going to Mitomycin C here, bandage lens, uh, antibiotic, uh, yellow, and a combination. And the take home message here is that when uh, treating recurrent epithelial erosion, we need to manually remove the epithelium as the thickness will be very variable and then tease or remove Bowman's memory. Hope you found this interesting. John Canalpa signing out. Thanks so much.